what is up guys welcome to the channel's very first gameplays and very first series the new pokemon snap it's been a very long time since i've last played this game on the nintendo 64 so let's see how it goes there's pikachu and eevee game looks fantastic though Look at Stoutland. Good boy. Hey, over here. Greetings. So there is voice acting. Oh, I thought there was. Hi there. I'm glad you made it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Lab of Ecology and Natural Sciences. Or Lens, for short. My name is Mirror. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor is going to study every single island here in the Lento region. <laughs> no one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But... but even counting him, Professor, your survey's gonna be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm a research assistant. <laughs> yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Look at Odino back there. Alright, allow me to explain. The Lento region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing those Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even get to see a glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now with that further ado. Here's your research camera. Pretty fancy. I've got the same one. You can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. Don't drop it, dude. Seems a little surprised. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain how to use it, Professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. Come on, let's go outside. So here's where the tutorial begins. A little pavilion in the background. So we press A to take the picture. So the left stick seems to move the little cursor the and, and the right the stick the moves the whole frame. You can use Let's see, what's out here? Two vehicles. Oh, Interesting. Look like a little Pikachu. Ah, I can't move it. First, move the pointer so it's 
lined up with Pikachu. Here we go. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important when the professor's evaluating your photos. Try snapping a photo. See, can we zoom in? Okay, let's at least try to get him perfectly in the center. Look at him. He's itchy. Okay, here we go. Zooming in. Okay, zoom is ZL. Go. Whoa. Whoa, he's a little surprised. Thanks, Rita. You can adjust your camera and motion controls for the setting page. You can also adjust them from the pause menu while you're out doing research. Hey, Professor! We covered the basics. Hello. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all, would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are best. So we just took a Pikachu and Pavilion. Let's see how they look. Oh, we're definitely going with this bigger one, for sure. Let's see these. Oh, we just took one, that's right. Okay, so now we press the cross. Let's see how he evaluates it. A new discovery. Oh, it's Pikachu! This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. So there's different categories, poise, size, direction, placement, and if there's other Pokemon in the background. Let's see. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is the key to getting a high score. Let's see what we get here. Size is straightforward. The large subject appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in the photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. Now, I know that was a lot of info all at once. Pretty much. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. So you get one star to four star, the better the picture, the more stars you'll get. Looking good, hard to believe you're a beginner. Let's see what we get for Pavilion or Vivillon. Nice work. Pretty good, I'd, let's say two stars. Oh my gosh, one star. Okay, we gotta do better. <laughs> How was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work toward. All right. That's about it. I think it's time to set you off on your adventure. Let's do this. I'm ready to take some pictures. Now then. Is Rita coming along with us? That should be about it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photographing expeditions. By the way. It's called the Neo One. It's the best. 
It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago with a little help from someone I know. Who could that be guys? Is it our boy Todd Snap from the OG Pokemon Snap? You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Jeez. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let's go take some pics. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. Let's get it. To oh, there's some Vivillon. The Hope I don't forget to take pictures. You can just focus on looking around oh, Buffalon. Snap, snap. Do trio or do duo? Do trio. To the trash can. Oh, this is going to be a good one. So we get 60 pictures. And trick. I'm just going to try to take as many as I can. Wormpool right here. Oh, here's another one. Oh, wow, that's an Emolga. Just missed it. Oh, this has text. Must be important. Talos. Juana. This one's drinking water. It's probably thirsty. <laughs> Oh, you see the magic arm? See if we can get a close up of these little Taylor here. Oh my gosh, they scattered. It's kind of fast paced. I'm gonna have to get accustomed to these settings. Little brokey. Where's that magic harp? Our boy Bidoof! What are they trying to mess with? Another Dodrio? Let that man sleep. Oh, here it is. Get back in the water, magic harp. Looks like you need some air. Who's who sleeping? Of course, they're nocturnal. Here's another wormpool. Hello, Taylor, just chilling on this sign here. What is this? Just the course? Whoa, what are these comfies? Now, I know most Pokemon, but not all of them. Last ones I've played was X and Y, so uh, gonna have to learn some of these new generation ones. I know this is Florgies. Oh, wow, it's waving at us. Did I miss anything? Basically, it's the end of the course. When you get back, so we're coming to the oh, it is the end. It is the end. So the professor will evaluate our photos. I'm thinking. Welcome back. 
Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in Florio Nature Park. Anyway. So we photographed 13 Pokemon, it seems. Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. Okay, so let me know what you guys want to do with this section, guys. Do we go through all of them or just like the best ones? We'll go ahead and do all of them since it's our first level. Let's see. I feel like this one would give us the most points. Go with Pichu. This was hidden in the grass. This one looks good. That boy Buffalon. Go with this one. Rio. It's either this or the this one's facing us and it's centered. Now Florgies, I think we got her shaking it. Yep, we did. Oh, three stars. Nice. Little guy but Wurmple. Let's see. I'm liking this one. Let's see what else we got? This one's good too. Let's go with that other one though. Here we go. Now Taylor, I like the sign one for sure. Wanna? There was one we took. She was drinking water, didn't we? This this one. There we go. That boy Magic Car breathing for air. Let's go with this one. Brokey, we just took one? Wow, okay. Bidoof! Let's see. Let's go with this one. Hoot Hoot over there sleeping. He needs to wake up. And comfy. So, let's go with this one. Alright, let's go see what the professor has to say. Let's have a look. Vivillon. Oh, so, I'm guessing three stars? Four. Pretty centered. Let's see. One star, wow. Well, at least it's gold. This one's like bronze, it looks like. Let's go with this one. I bought Pikachu hanging with his buddy. One star silver. So it's bronze, silver, gold, and diamond, it looks like. Both along with two of them. Great timing. See. Pretty good placement. But we do get a bronze star. I say not too bad for our first run. Here's Dodrio. Okay, there we go with the first diamond. So I guess the game wants us to have centered, pretty big in size, and some Pokemon in the background. Hitting on just over 4,000 points. A new discovery. This one has to be good. The Dodria was diamond, this has to be diamond as well. Oh, we did it, we did it guys. So it does seem like if you get 4,000 or higher, you will get diamond. Here's a little worm pool. A new discovery. Nice work. Ooh, just shy of 4,000 for that gold one star. My boy Taylor. A new discovery. He's too shy, guys. He's nice shy. Work. Close his eyes. Had to get a silver. We have Swana. Let's see. Okay, just shy of 4,000. This is an awesome picture. Nice work. 
Okay, we got a bronze one star there. Rookie or Groki. Not sure. But nevertheless, great picture. Oh, we got a gold star on that one. That boy Bidoof. A new discovery. Nice work. Bronze. The course seems pretty quickly. Of course, you get distracted taking pictures, but uh, overall, I had a really good experience. Hood hood sleeping. Bronze star. And I think this is our last one's comfy. There's a lot of Pokemon in the background there. 500 pose, 13 size. The shy of that diamond for that one gold star. Let's see if we unlock anything. But we need 40,000 for uh, level 2, it looks like. Wow, we did. We did. We get level two. Anyway, wonder if we get anything. One last thing. Let me tell you about your research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category, from 1 star to 4 stars. So, so in short, fill up that photo decks, keep that in mind, and you'll be right on track. So for the most part, we got a lot of 1 star pictures. Maybe level 2 will be a little bit easier to get higher stars pictures. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Look at that, you've hit a new stage in research. Keep an eye out for small changes. You got a new research title. Photo Program Newbie. Look this way. Wow, we got a lot of titles. Smack dab in the middle. So let's let's go try level two out park day. That covers just about everything. Hey, so. Can we go on nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon. After a little more practice. And by the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. <laughs> I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go ahead and have a good time snapping some photos. So it looks like we have to go back to the course during the daytime or did we get nighttime? Huh. Are you headed out for another expedition already? No. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about any nearby Pokemon and points of anything unusual. Hey, so. Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. So. Basically, anything that can make the system go, Hey, check this out! Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Yep. So we're gonna have another tutorial. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. There's that little boy, Pikachu. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press the X button. Try it out. So we're gonna run a scan by pressing the X button. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? And did you also notice that question mark? That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. 
So we'll press the A button. First, move the pointer over the question mark. Did you see the pointer change shape? That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Give it a try. There. Now you should see the results. The Neo One. This vehicle is essential for your Pokemon research. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of a professor's came up with the name Neo One. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Oh right, I almost forgot! There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental save cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. So when we scan, Pokemon should turn around and look at us. Hey Professor, explanation is all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. So did we get nighttime? First of all. Let's see. But we didn't, but we did get a new research level, I believe. Okay, so we're at level 2. This is the game wants us to run this course again with the scan feature. Okay, here we go. Our second run here in the Floral Nature Park, I believe. Oh, these buffalo weren't here before. Try it, our new feature. Avalon. Turn around. See? You could really easily miss something. You take too long. Look, like this Grokey right here. There's a. I was wondering where he went. He just missed that bit, doof. I saw him in the corner of my eye. There's that Emoga we missed on our first run. Oh, he's just gonna chill in that tree? Some charred fruits on the ground. Did a Pokemon do this? Not sure what to do with that. Here's a Bidoof. Oh, he just stood up. Oh my gosh. Keep missing that guy. Wanna flying? Oh look, that ducklet wasn't there before. Oh, those Bidoof. That's a new dam they're building out there. Trying to catch that Grokey, but we got the Dodrio. You gonna stand up or do anything? There's something there. Where do we need to go? The fruit glows in lentil. Angrows love them. Whoa! Did not notice him before. But who dude's still asleep? So 
goes Pichu and Grokey. See how close we can get to this Taylor. Um, there we go. Buffalo there before? Oh wow. That was quick. Well that scan feature definitely makes the Pokemon do interactions. Oh, you're back. You look hungry to take more photos. But we did get a new couple of new pictures. I get this Pichu. That should be a good one. This one as well. Avalon, let's go ahead and click that one. Look at the colors on this one. But we know the game likes bigger and more centered pictures. They are tough choice, but let's go with this one. It just seems like a better overall picture to me. The Oh, this is a two star, so let's go click this one. He finally got a mold, even though I think it was just his ear. Looks like he's flying. Definitely gotta go with this one. Or little worm pole standing in two legs. I try to get that floor just to turn, but just couldn't do it. Boy Swana. Little baby ducklet here. Halo, I try to get really close. And we got a new one, Tangrove. This one has a whole body, but this one's more of it in frame. Go with this one. This one right here. Hoot Hoot still sleep. Last but not least, or definitely last, Comfy. See what the professor has to say. Now then. Let's see what we've got. Mm, nice work. New picture of Pichu. Gold two stars. We're almost done with that page. We just need a three and a four star picture of Pichu. See how Grokey does. Nice work. Oh wow, we got just barely got that diamond on him. Lighting's definitely better on the nice new one. picture. Let's see how it goes. Silver, it's actually worse than our original. We're gonna have to go with our original picture. We got a new three star for our guy, Buffalant. Three star gold. We have Dodrio. A new two star. But would it be gold? Would it be diamond? It is gonna be gold. We barely got a Moga. Sixteen hundred for him. We have Bidoof here. 
Should be a good picture. We got diamond. So it just seems to get the most of the Pokemon on frame, centered, in some kind of an erection, and you'll be good. With the high score. Yeah, this worm poke does. Got a two star. Mm. Nice work. Couldn't get the floor just to turn around and say hi like last time. We have Swana flying nice with the group of other Swana. And we actually did worse on that one. But uh, it did seem pretty far away, so that's to be expected. A new Pokemon Ducklet. Silver for that one. And I did try to get a little bit closer on this Taylor right here. So hopefully we get a bigger score. Just shy of that diamond rating. Got a new Pokemon right here, Tangrowth. Okay, so we were just 500 short of a diamond rating. And who, who, who just does not seem to wake up. Comfy right here, a little bit more farther away, but it does look like we did better by a hair. So we'll go select that one. I wonder if this is going to be good enough to unlock the night version of the course. Thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. So, so far when he says that he has something to report, it means something new in the game. Let's see what he has to say. Hello. Your photography seems to be going well. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Here's the thing. Hopefully, you'll get to see one of the Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Speaking of... You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. But explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the Legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? What? You can barely tell who's in those photos. And they're ancient anyway. Literally a hundred years old. Well, we can discuss that later. Right. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. So it looks like we did unlock the nighttime for Florio Nature Park. And I'm really excited to give it a try. And uh, let's get to it, guys, in our next episode. 